YouTube. It's your boy, Beard and Beer Time, back again with another beer review. This is what I am sipping on tonight. Roaring Sons Ugly Pug. It's a black lager that tops out at 5.5%. It's labeled as light in body. Notes of caramel, chocolate, coffee, and roasted malt. Look at the coloring on this. It is dark. It is dark, but um, to be honest, I think the lighting does it, doesn't really do it the exact justice. It's actually a little bit lighter than what it, in person than what it looks like the camera is picking up. Um, it's a little bit lighter. Let's give some sniffs. You can definitely smell like the breadiness and the roasted malt. There's a hint of something else. I don't know. I, I, I think that's more of like, that might be the, the bitterness of the coffee. All right, let's down the hatch this thing. Oh man. Okay. This is good. This is a beer that I can really get behind. Man, hold on. Okay, I did a beer review not very long ago with O'Hara's, the, um, the Irish, um, the Irish, uh, was it, it was Irish stout. And it had like the toasted maltiness was almost burnt. In my in the flavors that I was getting, it was more of like a, a burnt flavoring. This one is that roasted malt that you that you get is not burnt. It's like nice and roasted, but it's not burnt. And I felt like the O'Hara's Irish Stout was more of a burnt flavoring. You get the, the you get a little bit of the caramel. It's not really sweet, I would say. And this is what I, the mouth feel on it is very. Uh, it's it's a little it's a little heavier on the mouth on the mouth feel. It feels a little heavy. Um, but it's very light in the body in the sense of it is it, how they described it is light in body. Um, it's it's got a good mouth feel, but it is very much. Um, it's easy drinking. It's very easy drinking. Let me see if I, I'm, you can get a little bit of the coffee and maybe a hint of caramel. There's, okay. Yeah, the more I'm drinking it, the more the chocolate I feel like kind of comes out. Cause that time I got the, I got the chocolate flavor in that, that middle, the middle of the beer. Yeah. Yeah, then there's like this overtone of caramel, a little bit of sweetness, just a hair, just a touch of sweetness. And then at the end, it, it has more of a bitter, uh, more bitter aftertaste where that roasted malt really kind of kicks in. And that's great. This is, it's got a nice, good mouthfeel at the end. This in, with, with, with this beer, with it being only 5.5%, it's going to be real easy to drink a handful of these and you're going to enjoy every single one of them. I, it it kind of feels like it might sit a little heavy. It might sit just a touch heavy, um, but I'm not, I can't lie. Obviously, I haven't drank very much of it, but I'll put it, I'll make sure I post it in the comments section down below. But if you've had this beer, make sure you check, make sure uh, you, you tell me what you thought in your comments section. But thank you all so much for watching the beer review. I'm not done yet. I'm going to give this a solid 8.4. This is a good beer all the way around. I'm really enjoying it. Like those roast, that roasted malt just really, really kind of takes this beer to a, a new kind of level because it, it's perfect. That section is perfect of this beer. It would be a little bit nice if there was a little more caramel, just a little bit more sweetness. Um, but if you did that, then more than likely, it wouldn't be a beer that you would drink like three, four, five beers of these. You're probably not gonna drink, you wouldn't drink more than that. Um, but this one you can eat, it's so easy drinking. The 8.4, Raw and Sons, you did an amazing job. You did an amazing, amazing job. The Ugly Pug, pretty stinking good. 5.5%. I gave it an 8.4. Thank you all so much for checking out the beer review. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.
And I'll see you all real, real, real soon. Cheers!